Well, thanks for staying with us here on Sunrise Live on E! on this Thursday morning. Now, the degradation of the inner city of Johannesburg has been a concern for a while now, and one of the biggest of those concerns is that of hijacked buildings. It's not an issue, but the city of Johannesburg is clamping down on this as uh, over, well, over 100 people have been arrested during the crime prevention operation that's been in effect since last Friday. So we're joined in studio now by the city of Joburg's Mayor, Councillor Herman Mashaba, to give us an update in terms of exactly what is happening with that situation. Remember to be a part of our conversation this morning. You give us a call on the following number, 011-447-1620. And you can also feel free to leave your comments on our Facebook as well as our Twitter pages. Welcome back. It's been a while since we've had you in our home. Yeah, no, thank you very much for this great opportunity, moreover, to speak about something that's very close to my heart. Yeah. A problem, a challenge that, um, that I need to sort out. A mm -hmm. Huge problem. Uh, it is oh. a massive problem that you need to sort out. And I know that, I know that the issue escalated when the Cape York building burnt down and then you found out that which is amazing which and you found that there were actual shacks within the mm. the buildings themselves so there was a whole city within a building right and how did you deal with that issue and where are the people now yeah well I think you remember when uh, about two months ago when that little girl from Soweto was uh, kidnapped by cr criminal syndicates mm. turning our children into prostitutes and um, when I became aware about this uh, I went in I led the police uh, to, uh, to go and look uh, find her unfortunately we couldn't find her on that particular day in the very same building and uh, Remember, I expressed my concern with the living conditions of our people in, in this building. Yeah. And a month later, seven lives lost. Uh, huge challenge. And we're sitting in the city of Johannesburg now with over uh, 80 buildings like that that are hijacked by these criminal syndicates. Mm. Why so you 80 city? buildings that are hijacked specifically by the criminal syndicates because most of those people that are living within those hijacked buildings are not even from South Africa. Yeah, yeah, a big yeah. number of them are not South African. Some of them with no documentation whatsoever. Mm. I'm sure uh, you remember quite well on the 1st of December 2016 when I was giving my 100-day speech. Mm. Uh, I'd already assessed the situation and I brought this in good faith to South Africa and the world that uh, we're sitting with a problem. We have to deal with this criminality that's happening in our town. Weren't you and, seen and, though and, as and, xenophobic and, when you and, said those and, words? And, and I said I need uh, national government to assist us as a city with uh, the competencies of, uh, of immigration. Mm. And unfortunately the former minister of um, uh, 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 Home Affairs went on an on attack calling me names, calling me xenophobia. Now look at it. We lost uh, seven uh, people last week and now if you look at the living conditions of our people in some of these buildings. Anything can happen anytime. Yeah. So this matter is actually an, an, an emergency. It is for that reason we are intensifying our, our, our rates. Our people living in these buildings in the inner city can expect on a daily basis. We are, we are going to be raiding. Okay, so what happens when you raid? Because, and it's so funny because I was speaking to someone from your office as well regarding the matter, the very same matter about hijack building. They were saying, you know what, Faith, people, children as, nine, as young as nine years old are being used as prostitutes mm. within those buildings themselves. So those are the types of the realities that are being confronted even with. Even drugs. Even drugs, right? So what happens? So you guys come in, you raid those buildings, you get the people out, and you can see some of the visuals on your screen right now then where do you put them? Because if you're going to put them in a stadium or et cetera, it's exposing them to even well, harsher I living think, conditions. I think we need to look at this matter in a, in a proper context. Yeah. This matter didn't just happen overnight. It happened uh, over many years of uh, the breakdown of, the, of law and order. When, when, when you allow a city to degenerate to uh, a slum in just under 20 years, that's, that's a problem. Mm. You have these open borders. South Africa, you can do your own research with the only country in the world with such porous borders that people can come in and out, including criminals. Yes, we do have uh, people coming into our country, running away from their countries for political reasons. And I think as a country, we have the responsibility to look after but and protect But what happens them. to those people but, but when the, they get but, removed? But the criminal element, yeah. we just cannot. South Africa cannot be a, a country where we harbor criminals, where people commit serious, heinous crimes in their countries, come and hide in our country, you know the city of Johannesburg with the, with the student uh, population. We know we've got big universities, so you can imagine the number of uh, students who are uh, uh, families are doing everything possible mm. to ensure that these kids one day can better the lives of our country and so but forth. Now they're, so be, they're you being harassed. You're still not answering my question, harassed. though, about 
you, you, you've got in, you've raided these buildings, you, you, you see the syndicates, you've seen the crime syndicates, you see the heinous things that are happening within those buildings, you remove them. Where do they go? Now, let me tell you yeah. what we are doing with these raids right now. We're doing the profiling as a city mm. because uh, the next week I'm having a, a, a full day session with the developers, private developers. I'm arranging with them that uh, we can give them access to those buildings to build uh, affordable accommodation and small business areas for our, pe for our people. Okay. But And what we'll do as a city, we'll take the responsibility for finding accommodation, alternative accommodation for those people. So the ones but that are at the Cape York building. So yes. let's use Cape York yeah, for and example. Then I so find the ones someone, from the Cape York, and then I find you someone, took them out, where did you take yeah, them? Yeah, let's, let's, let's uh, give you an example, yeah. Cape York building or any building for that matter. Yeah. I'm saying to the private developer, if you can give me a plan of how, what you want to do, what you going to do, how much you're going to invest in my, in the city, how many units you're going to build, how many people you're going to employ in the process, the city will take the responsibility to find alternative accommodation. But this is short term because these people are already here in this uh, illegally. But one thing that I want South Africans to know, and we unapologetic at the city of Johannesburg, we will only take responsibility for South Africans. Mm foreign people, particularly undocumented ones, that responsibility I'm giving to the national government. Mm. Because they're Home the ones affairs, who are they coming on board to help you with this with this issue? Well, because well, I, I'm if they're not documented, I'm, they I'm need not to go. A, I'm not asking them to do me a favor. Yeah. I'm saying to them, we as the city of Johannesburg, we will take care of our people, of South Africans, mm. to find ways to find alternative accommodation. But we're not going to take responsibility for all millions of people from all over the world that we don't know who they are. We, we are saying, national government, you are the ones responsible for controlling our borders. But are they coming so, on board, though, Mayor? That's the well, question. Are I'm, they coming I'm, on board I'm to saying, assist you? I'm saying faith. Yeah. I'm not asking them to do us a favor and do people of South Africa a favor. They have the constitutional responsibility to protect our border. Mm. They have the constitutional responsibility when people all over the world run away from their country for whatever problems to take care of them. But majority of people who come into this country uh, have to come into our country being able to take care of themselves. Yeah. It cannot be South African problem. I'm sitting in South Africa with uh, over 300,000 housing backlog of our people, Mrs. Lamini in, in Soweto, Mrs. Mm. Kumalo in Alexander and so forth, who've been waiting for houses for the last uh, 15, eight, uh, 18 years. Mm. Those are my responsibility. I'm not going to be responsible for people of the world with no resources. If anyone wants me to take care of the world, then give me the money.
to respect our laws. Anyone, honestly and truly, I'm not apologetic to anyone. Yeah. If you come here and you think South Africa is a jungle that you can do as you please, because we will, us as South Africans, will not do anything, will never go into any country and become criminals. And I invite any country in the world, if a South African come to your country and, and they, uh, they commit crime, mm. please lock them away. Okay. Because this is what we're going to do here in South Africa.